Hey guys, so we're going to continue on with our little application here and in this tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to add a scroll view that scrolls through images. And we can see we added three images up here, one, two, and three. And in our main storyboard we added a third view controller that we can navigate from and to. So we're going to add this scroll view all in code. So we're going to go to our third view controller. We're going to go under the view did load function. Okay. And for this, uh, we want the actual scroll view to be added on the view load so that we can see it right away. The first thing we're going to specify is how many pages do we want? So we're going to set up an int value for page count. Right now we're just going to set it to 1. Then we're going to set up our scroll view. So we're going to add a new UI scroll view call it scroller equal to a new I scroll view we're gonna knit with frame here so we're actually gonna set the size of this scroll view that we're gonna make and where it's gonna be located so we're going to use 0 for x since we want it flush against the left side. And then for y, we actually have that navigation bar at the top that we made that is 44 high. So we're going to bring it this scroll view down 44. The width we're going to make 320, which is the width of the screen. And the height we'll just make 420 for right now. Okay. Next we're going to set the background color of scroller which we're going to make clear since we don't want anything behind our pictures we want to be able to see all the way through to the background okay next we're going to set paging enabled so we can page through our pictures now we're going to set the content size so what this is going to be is this is going to be our page count times the size of the scroll view I'm going to jump over to Photoshop so you can see what I'm talking about here so we have our three images And the size of the scroll view itself is going to be 320 by 420. But if we have more than one image, we want this 320 by 420 to be multiplied by how many images we have. So in this case, we have three, so it would be 960 all the way across and 420 down. So we're going to do our page count times scroller dot bounds dot size dot width and we're going to leave the height at scroller dot bounds dot size dot height okay now we need to set up each view size. So we're going to make a CG rect for this. We're going to call it view size. We're going to make it equal to scroller.bounds. So what this does is sets our view size equal to scroller.bounds, which is this 320 by 420. Okay. Next we're going to add, so we're going to set up an add 
images. So we're going to have to make a new UI image view. I'm going to call that image view. We're going to init this with a frame. And the frame is going to be our view size. So this image view is going to be the view size, and the view size is connected to our scroller view size. So however, however tall we make and however wide we make this scroll view, it's going to be reflected on these images. Okay, now we need to set the image of the image view. So we're going to set image, a new UI image. And we're going to go with image named. So you can see up top here we have the three images, and the first one's named page underscore one dot ping. So we're going to call this by string. Oops, add quotes around it. All right. And now we need to add this image view to the scroller view. So I'm going to scroller, we're going to go to add sub view, and we want to add image view. Okay. And now I could run this right now, but it's not going to show anything since we didn't add scroller to the actual main view itself. So we're going to have to go self.view, add sub view, and we're going to add scroller. Now if we run it, we should see one image here. Now we can't scroll side to side yet because we didn't add a second image. So we're going to do that right now. Now before we add an image, we're going to have to offset the view size. Let me jump back to Photoshop and show you what I'm talking about. So right now our first view is set up in this little corner right here. Now when we offset this view size, we want it to start over here for image two and over here for image three so that you can see the whole image across. So in order to do that, we're gonna do view size is equal to CG rect. We're gonna do an offset. We're going to offset it by scroller.bounds.size.width. Basically, we're going to offset it 320 to the right. And we don't need to offset the height, so we can leave that. Now I'm going to come back up here and just copy this code, bring it below this, and rename these. Say this is image view 2, image view 2 set image. We're going to do page two, and we're going to add sub view of image view two. Okay, we're going to take this code right here. We're going to copy this. We're going to do another paste so we can offset the view size for the image view three. And do page three, and we're going to add sub view image view three and we also have to come back up here to this page count and we're going to change it to three images since we have three images here we're going to save that we're going to run it we should be able to scroll through the three images that we here we have a nice little bounce effect too on image one and three Okay, and that's how we set up a scroll view with multiple images. Thanks.